Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting exponential equation. We have 9 to the power x plus 3 to the power x equal to 19. How can you solve this equation? I want to suggest you a real good method how to solve this. Take a look, we can create base of 3 right here. We can write this 9 as 3 square. So let's do this. We will have 3 square instead of this 9 and raise to the power x. This is the same plus 3 to the power x and equal to 19. So we just write this 9 as 3, 3 square. We need to know right now about the rule of interchange. So we can swap these exponent, these powers, this is the rule. If we have a to the power x raised to the power b, we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power x. So we can swap these exponents, these powers, and this is a really good rule to know. So Remember this or learn this rule. Take a look next. We can swap this. So as a result we will have 3 to the power x square plus 3 to the power x equal to 19. Okay, we have 3 to the power x and we have 3 to the power x. So this is the same as right here. So we can let a substitution. Let this 3 to the power x will be equal to, for example, our t. And moreover, t need to be greater or equal to zero because we are talking about the second power. Okay, what we're we going to do next? Let's create a quadratic equation with this t. We will have not t but t square because we have second power right here. We will have t square plus t, and I bring this 90 on the left minus 19 equal to zero. And take a look, we have a really good quadratic equation, so we can easily solve it. But not with the x, with the exponent, with power, just classic quadratic equation. So we can write our abc, so a equal to 1 from here, b equal to 1 as well, and c equal to minus 90. So let's put all of this, all of this coefficient in our, our formula, so our t1 and t2 will be equal to minus b, it will be minus 1, I write plus minus, and this square root. Inside the square root we'll have b square, 1, minus, with this minus will be plus, plus 4, times 1, times 90. Just all this coefficient, and all over 2a, all over, all over 2. Let's simplify this a little bit. What we'll have? We will have minus 1, and inside this square root, what we'll have? We'll have 1 plus 360. So as a result, we'll have 361. We can easily take this square root. It will be equal to 19 plus minus 19 and all over 2. So this is our t1 and t2. And let's, let's find this t1 and t2. On the first side, let's take minus. Minus 1 minus 19 will be minus 20. Minus 20 over 2 will be minus 10. So t1 equal to minus 10. And let's let's find our t2. t2 will be equal to the same but with the plus sign. Minus 1 plus 19 it will be 18 over 2 it will be 9. So we will have the t2 equal to 9. And take a look. We write that our t need to be positive. So we don't need this t1 equal to minus 10. This is not good for us. Take a look right here. We have a real good number and let's go to our substitution. We write that 3 to the power x equal to t, but t equal to 9. So we will have our quadratic equation, 3 to the power x equal to 9. And from here, classic quadratic, classic exponential equation, 3 to the power x equal to 3 square. And from here, let's write equation with our exponents, with our powers. So from here, x equal to 2. And this is one and only solution in real numbers. So if you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting subs up. I really appreciate it. And have a great day. See you in the next videos.